Howdy, welcome back. Um, so I have these crates ready to go, ready for opening and inventory. Um, so got the rest of the garage pretty much squared away and ready for stuff. You'll see tail cone is up there, up and out of the way. And I kind of cleared off some horizontal storage space here, put the rest of the empennage kit uh, that wasn't used uh, for now in there. Uh, a lot of that will be used later on when we get to the attaching portion. So got everything pretty much put away how I like it. And uh, yeah, we'll get to uncrating and inventorying. So this tray here makes this very easy, uh, being able to sort things out because um, I'm finding quite a bit of discrepancies here. This one here, for instance, um, I'm missing two of these thin uh, jam nuts here. So you'll see I have, uh, it's calling for six in total. It's kind of hard to, uh, you really have to break it out in order to, to understand what's going on. Uh, but you'll see I should have six of a certain kind of um, thin jam nut as well as six of the other kind. So it's a quarter inch as well as a three eighths jam nut. So three eighths here, I have six of these, um, but only four there. Um, so I recommend getting one of these trays. I didn't have this the last time and I had to sort things um, kind of on the table and it was a pain getting everything back in a bag because I do like using the same bag uh, for organization just because it's already, already has a number on it, already easy to store and put away. Um, but makes things easy to find discrepancies. Welcome back. Um, so inventory is done. Have all the pieces kind of all sporadically laid across here. I am now slowly going ahead and getting everything um, organized and put together in an easier manner to find later on down the road. Um, but email has already been sent out to vans. I definitely had a couple of items that were missed, um, either um, missed picks or missed all in entirety um, when it came to the items that came in the crate. Yeah, anyways, nothing too major. Um, I do want to address, uh, I guess, some things to, for other builders to watch out for when you do receive your crate, just to make sure that you're, um, you're getting everything that you paid for. I, this is not meant to be nitpicky on vans. They literally have to pack, I'm going to say, it's probably safe to say, a few hundred, if not maybe a thousand parts here. Um, so that's an incredibly tedious job. So yeah, so anyways, the fact that I had only um, eight, I guess, types of products missing, uh, not quantity wise, uh, but anyways, eight types of items missing overall out of all of the stuff that was in here in the crates. That's pretty phenomenal. That's amazing. So kudos to Vans there. Um, but what I did find, and uh, if you're any, any out there waiting on your crate, what I did find you should watch out for is stuff like this. So these were gimmies. Um, these were placed on these sub kits. So you'll see the way I have them stored here. I literally just took them out of the sub kit and uh, out of the packaging and then placed on here just for these small parts to keep these organized here. Anyways, these are the sub kits. Uh, individual sub kits here and with those sub kits they had underneath um, underneath that plastic wrap this label on it that said add these parts left and right um, it was actually checked off on the inventory seat sheet so I don't know if that was like a note for someone at Vance to later on make sure to pack before shipping uh, but someone actually did check off each of these as being there sure enough they were not there the other gimme uh, was this one uh, so I checked for that and uh, sure enough it is not there. Uh, it was checked off as well. Uh, so those are easy gimmies to look for. Uh, the ones you really want to look out for though, in my opinion, are like these here. So these are two sets of six each of these parts, these FL1007A. This should be a left and then should be a, I should have a dash right. Uh, but those are the same. Uh, so instead of receiving six and six, I received 12 of the left pieces there. Um, so that was on the list for Vans. And then uh, the other thing, so yeah, anyways, coming over here, um, when it came to the small nuts and bolts, I definitely had a couple of pieces missing uh, where I had a, either two extra of a certain bolt, meaning two less of another kind, or just one short on the washer here and there. Um, there's an electrical connection that was missing out of my uh, trim kit here. So even inventory down inside of here and I'm supposed to have six of a certain type of uh, connection and I had five. Um, so 
Just keep a lookout for stuff like that. It's a pain in the butt doing this inventory. I'm sure there's people out there who get away with pencil whipping the whole paper. Um, but out of the entire inventory here, um, there's a total of, total, technically nine pages, but eight pages on here have uh, have items to be checked, and six of the pages had discrepancies. So take your time, look over it. Um, I'll, I'm going to show you real quickly what I had. Um, like this here, I was missing two of a certain kind of nut, a thin jam nut quarter inch. Uh, so missing a couple of those. Um, back order, I just verified that I didn't receive it. Um, but like here, missing, uh, that was missing one washer. Uh, missing a couple pieces here. These pan head screws. This, this isn't, nit I don't feel like this is nitpicking because you're supposed to get two of this kind here and I'm missing both of them. There are going to be needed. It's not like I was getting 40 of a certain thing and I was missing two. So uh, when it came to stuff like that, this one here, um, I think is a pretty big takeaway. Uh, and actually I didn't catch this. So my original email to Vans didn't have this bag as a, as a discrepancy until just now when I'm getting everything I kind of started, I took out all of my previous rivets from the empennage that was in the tail, toolbox there, taking them out here, comparing them, I'm about to start mixing bags. And I realized here uh, with these two parts, so these two actually came with the kit and I was um, kind of sorting things by flush and uh, the 470 from the 426. And I realized real quick here, um, but these are exactly the same and I wrote on them as I was inventorying to make my life easier I went ahead and at the time that I was inventorying I wrote on them to 426-84-11 And this bag here was supposed to be 470-84-11, but if you look at them uh, 470 should have that This head here this uh, over the top non countersunk and uh, Yeah in this bag here. Yeah, you'll see uh, it's the same same flush ones that are in uh, that that are actually four two six. So keep a lookout for stuff like this. Uh, this should be um, these. I should receive four seventy instead of four two six. But anyways, sent another email out to Vans just now saying, hey, sorry for the last minute change, but again, got another discrepancy. So keep a lookout when you're doing uh, when you're going through your rivets. It's easy to look at them like, oh yep, yeah, got my rivets there, good to go. Um, but make sure they're the right ones because the flush ones will not work um, in the other application. So. Stuff like that. Uh, this one here is what I mentioned over there, uh, which is where I received uh, 12 of a certain kind instead of six and six. Uh, so stuff like that. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else here. Some back order parts. Yeah, so those two pages were clean and this one here, uh, that's where I had my missing electrical connection. So anyways, not trying to nitpick vans. Again, there's a lot of stuff here that they have to pack away. Uh, so I'm very surprised that that's, <laughs> that's the entire, uh, out of the entire inventory, being very particular and actually going through everything. Uh, that's all that was missed. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get um, get this thing set up here. Commonly used rivets, I'll be placing them uh, throughout this here, which I'll likely mount on the wall over there. Uh, and then other stuff that I'm not using often, like nut plates and stuff, I'm probably just gonna leave these in their bag. Uh, it's not often that I'm going to the same thing over and over again. Seems to be, if it's anything like the empanage kit, it seems to be uh, these kind of one-off baggies are used, like this is probably used in one specific application or sporadically throughout um, and not gone back to every single week uh, to be used. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get this done. It's not gonna be too exciting to watch on camera, so I'm just gonna literally write on the front of each one, get this filled up with rivets, get that mounted on the wall, and then we'll be ready to, uh, to move forward. Alrighty, this is uh, Austin from the future. I was just editing that video that you just finished watching and uh, realized I was way too chatty when it came to tricks and tips and stuff that I've learned along the way here. Spent about 20 minutes going over something that I can explain to you in about two seconds. So, what I wanted to get to is using technology. The biggest thing I've learned along the way here is be resourceful with technology. Um, so in the forums I had found someone mentioned that you can actually ask Vans for your inventory sheet uh, for your kits. So I sent them an email, asked for my in inventory sheet for the wings as well as for the empanage just to have it. Um, the reason why it makes things easy is you can search everything. Um, so if you have a certain part number that you're looking for um, or you're doing inventory and you have a bag in front of you and you don't know what the heck it is, you can search that um, after you download it. So here is, just for reference, here is my inventory sheet. So you literally just search. If you had a, say you had a bag in front of you, bag number 1201. Uh, we're going to search 1201. And it's going to show you Oh, it's going to have, there's your part number. So anyways, you can search things. Not only this, uh, that's the first thing that I have uh, found that has really made my life easy. It just, it, yeah, the second thing um, when it comes to technology is build plans. 
So I never do this, but you actually have through your online account with Vans, uh, if you click on your account, you can find the build plans for the entire plane. So I went through and actually like manually downloaded every single one. Um, you'll see here uh, when it comes to those plans, you can now have a, uh, you have access to everything. So went ahead and did that. And then I also actually went ahead and within this same file, I merged them all into, into one big long PDF. So this PDF here is 655 pages long. Anyways, you can search literally any part that you want to search. So if you are doing inventory and I'm just gonna, I know F1006 um, is the front bulkhead for the tail cone, uh, but it'll show you every time that part shows up in your plans, uh, anytime it's mentioned, um, which I think this will be very useful, especially going forward um, as there are more and more parts getting into some bigger and bigger components. Um, but anyways, that has made my life way easier uh, when it comes to finding things because um, you can quickly search it on here. Uh, you could be laying in bed and you want to look up plans, you don't have to come outside, find your build manual, sit there and sort through which page was that on. Um, you can have access to it all on your Google Drive or Dropbox, whatever you're using. Yeah, so anyways, uh, those there um, definitely have been useful things. I, I really found them out, I'd say within the last two months or so. Um, but if I was to start over fresh from the beginning, I would make sure to have both of those on my iPad, phone, laptop, wherever, uh, throughout the build, just to make things very easy to access. Uh, those were definitely the two big takeaways um, as far as tricks and tips go. What I want to do though is I want to hear if anyone else has any other tricks and tips or anything they learned later on in the build uh, that would have helped them early on in the beginning. Uh, I'd love to hear it. So comment down below if you have any other tricks and tips that made your life easier. Hopefully will make my life easier. Um, but yeah, comment down below if you do have anything. All right, so I'm gonna end the video here. Uh, hopefully this wasn't too long for you. Uh, but if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, next video will involve uh, actually getting started on the wings, getting started, I think, the first section on the spar, on the spars. Um, so yeah, that should be super fun. You'll notice I have uh, some cardboard here. I just finished up painting a door. Have a couple of projects going on inside the house. So I'll probably be a little bit delayed uh, with these next videos here. Hopefully I can either knock out the house project quickly and get to building the wings, or I can do it in tandem. Yeah, anyways, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to stay up to date on the house projects, wings, stuff, and stay truly up to date as far as where I'm at right now, um, follow me on Instagram. I try to post there whenever I'm doing any house projects, plane projects, uh, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Adios.